Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is your brother Dawood here at Islamic Leaf. We were, we're doing a series in the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah to show the importance of, of reflecting on the story of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Uh, and then we also want to focus on our, our spiritual aspect in these first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah because we know that they are these blessed days. We know in the Quran al-Kareem, rahim wal fajr wal layalan ashr. Uh, the ulama say these, the, the references of these, these 10 nights. Uh, some say are the, the last 10 nights of Ramadan, and others say it's the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, and some other opinions are that it's uh, the last 10 nights of Ramadan and the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. So we know that in these 10 days of Dhul Hijjah that we should be focusing on our uh, spiritual awareness, we should be reflecting, reading the Quran a lot more often, uh, fasting if we can the first nine days. If you cannot, at least make that effort to fast uh, the Waqfat Arafah, the ninth of Dhul Hijjah. So I'm going to start off with the, uh, a story that most of us know the relationship between Ibrahim alayhi salam and his father. Uh, his father was an I idol sculptor, he made uh, idols for his village, his community and for the people, and uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam at a very young age uh, knew that what it was wrong, you know, that, that these idols couldn't do anything, they couldn't help the people, they couldn't help themselves, they couldn't talk, they couldn't listen, they, 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 didn't, they didn't help anyone, they couldn't cause even harm to anyone. And he always questioned and debated his father about this, uh, to the point where his father got really angry and threatened to stone him. And Ibrahim alayhi salam was very cordial throughout the, the, all the debates and, and, and growing up. And his father basically said, leave or I'll stone you. And Ibrahim alayhi salam gave the, uh, uh, you know, salams to him. You know, peace be upon you, O father, and I will make dua for you. And um, the lessons that I want to take from that story is that this relationship that he had his, with his father. Now, this is a huge sacrifice Ibrahim was making. You know, his you know, father, a parent, is someone we look up to, and you know, uh, and being Ibrahim's father was 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 high in society, somebody who who sold uh, idols. You know, the, these is what they reference as gods, and to do that, to to have the father who the, to be the son of the father who made these was a very prestigious thing. That's imagine if you were like you know the son of someone who did something amazing. You would feel proud that that was your father. In this day and age, the lessons that we can take from this is, do we do the same, you know, with our children? You know, children are very innocent, and there are times they'll tell us when we're doing something wrong, hey, Baba, Mama, this doesn't seem right, you know. Uh, what you told was a lie. You know, what you're doing is stealing, or what you're doing is that. And do, are we arrogant or prideful like Ibrahim's father where we, you know, we're like, no, this is right, or we justify it? Or do we sit there and listen to our children and, and say, you know, that is correct? Uh, and that's the, the lessons that we should, we should do. We should, we should take the, the lessons that we learn from this story and, and really um, uh, implement it in our lives. Children, if you see your parents doing something wrong that's against the, the, the teachings of Islam, advise them. Parents, if your children advise you, um, as you're teaching them to be better people, you should take that advice if they give it to you as well. And one of the last reminders I want to do is in these uh, first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, don't forget to make that sacrifice like Ibrahim did and have that Iman and give your Udhiyah and your Qurbani. Uh, go to IRUSA.org and, and donate this meat that you're providing actually really feeds the family. It's something beneficial. It's, it's beyond that wajib or, or sunnah mu'akkada. It's something that we, um, we do to help those in need. And if you go to irusa.org, you'll have a list of over 30 countries to choose from. Also right here in the USA, pick a country. Find a country and, and know that you're feeding someone. And if you want to pick one, two, three, four, five countries, this is an act of charity. And there's no better time to do it in these blessed days. So, you know, donate a udhiyah every single day of, of these nine days, you know, help those people in need. And jazakallah khair and tune in inshallah for our next episode of the lessons of the life of Ibrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.